Why are we so fascinated by the dark? Is it the mystery of what lurks in the dark? Is it the curiosity in all of us that tells us to press on no matter what the consequences may be? So many stories of things gone wrong in the dark, and yet we continue to search for the monsters we want to believe are fake, but sometimes those monsters are real. Welcome to Tales at Twilight. Meet Harold Rogers, 45 years old, single, about 6 foot 1, dark hair, tanned white skin with a slim figure that seems to be close to losing its slim status. He's single, and to fight off loneliness, he studied the occult and the paranormal, but he had never admit that's why he studies it. He's just returned from a ghost hunt at a home that is said to have been haunted by a demon capable of warping and controlling reality. Something happened that broke the emotional and psychological dam he had built up inside for many years. And now we find Mr. Rogers heading inside the office with Nathan Allen, the psychiatrist that Mr. Rogers had stumbled across in a newspaper ad the day before. Now he finds himself emotionally submissive to whatever the day throws his way, and he's desperate for help. When he enters the room, he meets Nathan Allen, a man about six foot three, physically fit with the looks of someone out of a Hollywood movie. With a charming personality and a feeling of control reality, Mr. Rogers senses something is off about him, but he quickly dashes the thought from his mind as he takes a seat in the solid black armchair a few feet in front of Dr. Allen. The windows are all closed with the red and black curtains tucked underneath the blinds. Good afternoon, Mr. Rogers. How are we doing today? Well, to tell you the truth, Doc, I haven't felt right in a long time. I hate to hear that. Why don't you tell me about the investigation? How did you... Never mind. Sorry. It was about a week ago. I was told of this house that is said to be haunted by, and you're going to call me crazy for saying this, but it's haunted by a demon. Hadn't you investigated houses with demons before? Y yes, many times. So what makes this one different? I don't know. Nothing too crazy happened. In fact, I left early because the house was dead quiet, pun intended. <laughs> So you investigated this house and nothing happened, yet you don't feel right. When did you first notice something was off? It was the next day when I woke up. I felt out of place, like a new person in a town and had no idea where to go or what to do. So you felt disoriented. No, I felt like I wasn't in my own body. I don't know how else to explain it, but I felt like a stranger in my own skin. Then I started remembering things. What did you remember, Harold? I started remembering every bad moment, every mistake, every bad moment of my life that I had forgotten about. They all came back with vivid accuracy in my mind, and it was like my mind was a hostage to these memories. So what about the changes in the world around you? Yes, I almost forgot. How did you know? Never mind. I would leave my house and get the mail, but when I would come back, my front door would be a different color. Now, I know you really think I'm crazy, but I'm telling you this is what is happening to me, and no one believes me, and they all tell me I should be locked away in some loony place. Do you think this was all caused by that house? And I don't think you're crazy, Mr. Rogers. It makes perfect sense to me. I think it was the house. At first, I thought I was crazy for saying that, but I can't prove it, and I won't prove it. I'm never going to the back to that house ever again as long as I live. <laughs> What's so funny? Am I just a funny story to you, doctor? Mr. Rogers, I know exactly what's causing this and exactly how to fix it. What? How? Tell me. You see, Harold, you never left the house. And now it's brought back all those memories to torture you psychologically because psychological torture is much more fun than physical torture. At least to the torturer and not to the tortured. So how do I fix this? You don't. What are you saying? When I said you never left the house, I meant that literally. You're still here, Alan. The room starts to twist and transform from an office to a bed bedroom resembling that of a young child's. You see, I knew if I allowed one person to escape this house alive, it would surely bring back more people for my pleasure. You're not crazy, Mr. Rogers. You are perfectly sane. For now. <laughs> 